Hello guys, welcome to the next session of implementing CRUD operations using Spring Boot version 3. In the last session, we discussed on how we can implement the API in order to delete the employee details from the table. In this session, we are going to see how we can create one new API so that we can update the employee details into the table. So let's see how we can do these. So again, uh, update operation is really very simple. What we have to do, we have to create one new method public. As of now, let me just keep it as a void. And then we have to give the name as update employee. And then the next thing that we have to do, we have to like add one parameter of type employee. Now we are going to take this parameter from the body. The reason is we are going to use mapping as a put mapping. So let me just use put mapping. And then we have to give a path slash update slash employee so inside the put mapping we have to send the details through the body of the request that is the reason we are going to take these uh, details from the body so that is the reason we have to like use a notation that is called as add the rate request body on this particular parameter the next thing that we have to do is we have to add one method inside our service so inside my service let me just go and let me just add public void and then let me just use update employee and then we have to again take one parameter of type employee something like this and then the next thing that we have to do is first of all we have to check whether the employee id that we want to update is present into the table or not so for that what we can do we can just use employee dao dot find by id and then we have to like pass employee dot get employee id so we have to pass employee id over there so find by id basically returns us the optional so what we can just do we can just use or else throw something like this so what it will do like if it will find these details into the table then it will return those details or else if it didn't find any details then it will just throw the exception so that is the reason we have to like um, use this or else throw but if it didn't throw any exception then that means that the details are present into the table and we can just go ahead and update those details so again what we have to just do we have to like use employee dao dot save and then we can just pass the employee details that we just want to save something like this maybe we can just return those details as it is and then we have to like change this void to the employee because now we are returning the details and now let me just go to the controller over here what we have to do we have to just use employee service dot update employee and then we have to just pass employee over here something like this and again as our employee service is going to return us the updated employee details we can just uh, use return over here and then we have to like change it to the employee something like this and now let me just save all these changes let me just restart the application let's see what happens whether we are able to like use this api or not now the application is started on port 9090 so let me just go to the postman but before that let me just go to the database and let me just refresh the query and if you just see as of now i have only one record if you just want you can just add one more record so let me just add one more record over here and let me just click on send this is the api that we have already created and now if you just see there should be yes there are like two different records so for example if you just want you can just change the address of employee id 1 so as of now employee address for employee id 1 is mumbai if i just want to change it to the kolkata then we can just change it so how we have to do we have to like go to the postman and then let me just add a new tab then we have to just add the url which is nothing but http colon slash slash localhost colon 9090 slash update slash employee and then we have to change mapping to the put mapping we have to go to the body 
we have to select raw and then we have to select a json then we have to like pass the json so what we can do we can just pass employee id so make sure like whatever you have given inside your employee pojo class those same details you can pass so i have already like i have already um, that json with me so i'll just copy this json and i'll just paste this json but i'll just pause the video for some time and you can just maybe take a look and you can just uh, type if you just want now for example uh, we have to add one more property which is nothing but employee id this time because while saving the details we don't want to send the employee id but as of now as we are updating the details we have to send the employee id so for example if i just want to change the details for employee id 52 and if i just want to change the address from pune to kolkata then what we can just do we can just use 52 comma and then from pune we have to just use kolkata and maybe if you just want to change the skills maybe i just don't want these many skills i just want only java and also i just want to change the department so if we just see the department is it as of now and if i just want to change it to the network we can just give that particular value and then we can just click on send if you just see we got the response and in the response we got updated value so in the response we got address as a kolkata department as a network and skills as a java only and if i just go to the database and if i just select it again then you will be able to see the updated details are saved into the table so this is how we can create the api in order to update all the details from the tables if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session